Hi everyone, so I'm here to review the new Joa Beauty Primedation 4-in-1 Foundation with Hyaluronic Acid, Collagen, and Crystallide. I believe they just released this last week and they were having a deal where you can basically try the foundation for free and you just pay for shipping. So the shipping was $4.99, so not a bad deal. The foundation itself retails for $15, which I think it's pretty standard for a drugstore foundation nowadays. So the shade that I got is TW010, which is light tan with warm undertones. And this actually matches me pretty well. It may be just a smidgen to tan, but for the most part, I think it works perfectly for my skin. It has enough yellow undertones to blend into my skin. Let me just read through what the packaging says. It says, skincare meets makeup with this radiant finish foundation packed with skin-loving ingredients. This multitasking primer plus foundation is supercharged with hyaluronic acid, collagen, crystallite, peptide, and blue light defense. So there is a lot of claims in here. It says 88% saw smoother skin, 84% would skip their primer step, and then 82% saw a radiant finish. So the claims for this is supposed to be an all-day radiant finish, medium coverage, and then all the other ingredients with hyaluronic acid, collagen, and their crystallite peptide. So, so I'm just going to show you guys a demo on how the foundation is. So the packaging is pretty cute. It comes with a pump, which is super convenient, and I love it when foundations have pump. It just makes application so much easier. So this is my skin without the foundation, and then I'll just apply it on one side of my face. I'm going to use a foundation brush with this foundation. This is the BK Beauty 106. This foundation has a pretty nice density to it, so you can see it's not running out, it's not running at all. So to apply this, I would recommend a more dense brush, a buffing brush to apply this foundation or a dampen sponge. I usually use brushes to apply my foundation, so that's what I'm gonna use today. And then I'll show you guys just one side of my face. As far as skin prep, I only have my moisturizer, SPF, and the primer water since I always prep my skin with that. It's just nice, refreshing way to prep my skin before I apply anything. So I'm just gonna apply this on this side so you can see what the coverage is like comparing it to this side. So this is the shade and it's pretty spot on with my shade. And I didn't find that this color oxidized too much on me, so that's pretty good. And it says it's medium coverage and I do agree because um, with this initial application, you can still see my skin picking through and a lot of my acne scarring but the finish of the foundation is actually really really beautiful on the skin so that's one side and then this side so it just evened out my complexion i still need to do a little bit more coverage just on my cheek area and the sides of my nose so you can still see a lot of my broken capillaries in my nose but for the most part i feel like this side is a lot more even compared to this side so I'm just gonna apply the rest. This was one pump on both sides and I feel like I need a pump and a half just to get the coverage that I want on my skin. Okay, so here is what that foundation is looking like. The finish of this foundation is like a very natural, I wouldn't say shiny, but it's radiant, but it doesn't feel greasy or anything like that. It feels really comfortable on the skin. It feels like nothing on the skin. I actually really like how this looks on my skin. It doesn't emphasize my acne scarring because of that natural finish. Um, matte foundations tend to kind of emphasize the pockmarks on my skin, so I try to avoid those now. So I usually go for foundation with the natural finish or somewhat like radiant like this, but not greasy. And I actually really like this finish. So I'm just going to go back in with about half a pump of the product just on my cheek area, the sides of my nose to conceal more of my broken capillaries because I still have some, and then a little bit on the forehead. So just a little bit closer look here. So I'm just applying that on my areas that I have more to conceal. I don't find that this product has a certain smell or anything like that. I think it's pretty pleasant. So here is that foundation with about a layer and a half. I think the coverage is really beautiful on the skin and I just love the finish on the skin. It's not greasy, but it's not flat either on the skin, especially if you have dry skin. I think it's going to look really beautiful on your skin. I think it's all that hyaluronic acid and the peptides. I don't know if that's making, if that's the ingredient that's making it look radiant, but it's really, it's really beautiful on the skin. 
So this isn't a first impression since I've worn this twice and I actually really like this foundation. So I'm going to come back with a full face to give you guys my final thoughts on the foundation and to show you guys the product and how it wears at the end of the day. So now I'm back with my full face on with the Joa Beauty Crystal Glow Primedation Foundation. And as far as my final thoughts, I think this foundation is actually really, really beautiful for a drugstore foundation. It actually kind of reminds me as far as the finish of it. It reminds me of my Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. And that foundation costs $65 and this is $14.99. So as far as the wear time, I'll show you guys a clip of how the foundation wears at the end of the day and I think it's beautiful it does wear pretty well um, I still get quite shiny on my t-zone area because I have very very oily skin if you're not familiar with my foundation reviews my my skin is very very oily but this foundation wears pretty decent throughout the day I don't hate it at the end of the day it doesn't sink into my pores and I do really highly recommend it I think it's beautiful it doesn't smell funny it applies beautifully and for the price point it's pretty fair as far as a foundation from the drugstore so that is pretty much it for this review. If you guys have any other questions, leave them in the comment below. I hope you guys found this review helpful. Like this video if you did and subscribe if you're not subscribed already and I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye!